Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Express Only on SABC3. Thank you for choosing to start your morning with us. Right now, let's quickly take a look at what you can expect uh, in the world of sport going into the weekend. Now, soccer and rugby really take center stage in South African sport this weekend. Now, Urban Polokwane, the Telkom knockout tournament reaches its climax as the final gets underway on Saturday, while Rugby Sevens Fever takes over the mother city as Cape Town Sevens finally gets going. Now, to preview these massive clashes in sport heading uh, our way this weekend, Sport 24 editor Garen Lamney joins us this morning. Garen, how are you doing, brother? Good morning, well, good nice to, to see, see you. you. Nice to see you, my friend. So, big weekend ahead. Uh, I think a lot of people are also very excited about the Sevens that's coming to town as well. So, let's start off there. I mean, Cape Town Sevens. Absolutely. You know, the biggest party on the rugby scene heads to Cape Town <laughs> yeah. this, this weekend. You know, they started in Dubai last weekend. The Blitzbach are obviously doing incredibly well winning that title. Now in Cape Town, at home, defending champions. You know, the weather should improve, I think, by Saturday and Sunday. Um, you know, the, the, and I expect them to do really, really well. You know, they've got a great team spirit going there. The same 12 players that played in Dubai playing in Cape Town yeah. this week. They've got a pool um, against Russia, the USA and Australia. So they'll be playing those three matches on Saturday. I expect them to get through that. Then he head on to the Sunday where they go into the quarterfinals, semifinals and obviously the final. You know, Fiji, I think, again, um, is going to yeah. be their big danger. They beat Fiji in the final in Dubai. Yeah. I expect them to be there again. New Zealand, not quite the force that they, they are in the sort of the 15-man game at, yeah. at sevens at the moment. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a massive party. Uh, you know, it's sold out crowd at the Cape Town Stadium, 110,000 people expected over the two days. Wow. You know, I'm not sure if everyone will actually get to see any rugby. <laughs> it's more like the party and the drinking outside of the stadium. But it's, you know, it's a fantastic mm -hmm. vibe. You know, I encourage everyone to get down if you have got tickets. Looking forward to it. I'm heading down on Sunday. Can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Sibella Sinatla on, on, on screen now, you know, he's our star player, um, World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year at the moment. It's actually his last tournament. He, he's going to head back to the Stormers after this tournament and prepare for the Super Rugby. Same with uh, Quaker Smith at the Lions. Okay. He's also leaving the Sevens, going to start their training for the upcoming Super Rugby. So saying goodbye to those two guys. New captain, um, Philip Snayman, taking over from Carl Brown. You see in the background yeah. there, you know, he's obviously off to a winning start. So all looking good for the Blitzbox. Should yeah, be a fantastic man. tournament. And it looks like the boys are in good spirits as Absolutely. well being here in the Mother yeah. City playing You're out. Right. All right, cool. So let's shift um, attention a little bit to the Telcom knockout final. I mean, what can we look forward to going into the weekend? We've got the two form teams in, in, in the PSL this season. Um, um, Cape Town City flying high at the top of the log, playing Super Sport United, who are currently in second place. Playing at neutral territory of the Peter McCarver Stadium in, in Polokwane, obviously a little bit closer for Supersport to travel. Um, but you know, C Cape Town City have done fantastically well under Eric Tinkler this season. You know, based in, in the Mother City, they, as I said, top of the log, playing incredible soccer. But I think um, you know, um, Supersport United should be the favourites. They've actually beaten uh, both um, Mavaloni Sundowns and um, Orlando Pirates en route to the final. Um, Cape Town City have had a slightly easier path to the final, but you know, it should be a fantastic game. Looking forward to it. You know, Stuart Baxter, the coach of Supersport United, he's obviously a former Bufana Fartner um, yeah. coach as well. So he'll have the, his troops up for the game for sure. Can't wait. Six o'clock, that kickoff on, on Saturday. All right. Well, definitely no shortage of uh, sport Absolutely. this weekend. Garen, thank you so much for joining us this Thanks morning. Just giving us a bit of a heads up as to what we can expect on the sporting fields going into this weekend. Right now, time is 6.30. Let's catch up with Leanne and your news headlines.